Uh, hello, <clears throat> my name is Clayton Crosley. I'm a VA volunteer, United States Army veteran, and a Tai Chi instructor. I'm going to take you through a seated Tai Chi routine that you can do whenever you guys decide to play this recording. I'm just going to begin first with a couple of postures. We want to keep our spine tall and long, like two heads being pulled up to the sky. And we also want to come to the edge of our chair. We don't want to be back because we have a tendency to move forward, or we also don't want to be leaning back. So if we come to the edge of our chair, you'll see the spine is nice and straight. And that's the posture that we want to use for this step. First thing we want to do is we want to open up our joints and loosen them up. We're going to interlace the fingers and we're going to rotate the wrists. Just gently back and forth. It's really good to keep the joints lubricated and keep the tissue around the joints nice and flexible. We're going to go the other direction. We're going to bring our hands out to the sides. We're going to bring our hands towards our shoulders and going up. Gently rotating the elbows. We're going to go away from the shoulders. We want to stretch those tissues in both directions. Next, we're going to take the right palm. We're going to let the palm face towards the sky. We're going to raise it up as we breathe in. We're going to turn just a little bit, lower the hand behind us. Deep breath in and out. We're going to go the other direction, raising it for her, like we're doing a swimming stroke. Coming forward. Deep breath in, exhale as the other comes down. We're going to change arms, raising up, breathing in, lowering and exhale. We'll change direction, raising it behind, and go back to that swimming stroke. <clears throat> we just want to gently turn the legs, shift your weight from cheek to cheek. Just stretching the tissue around the hips and a slight little gentle twist to the spine. And we'll come back to the center. And we're going to raise up the right heel and we're going to make some circles with the hips. This is going to loosen up the ankles and the knees. And we'll go the other direction. We'll change legs. And we'll change direction. Very you keep your spine nice and straight. We're going to interlace your fingers, pressing our palms above the head, and we're just going to twist side to side. We're going to breathe in as we turn to one side, and exhale as we turn to the other side.
We'll come back to the center. We'll lower the hands down, placing them in our lap. We're going to tilt our head forward and back. We're going to gently go side to side. <clears throat> and right away. We're next going to begin with just connecting to the breath inside the body. The breath is a really powerful uh, mechanism inside of us, but it helps to really relax. We want to connect to the expansion and the contraction of the breath. And we're just going to let our hands face our belly. And as we breathe in, we're going to let the arms come out like a big balloon, it's pushing them out from our body as we breathe in. And exhale, squeezing the balloon, letting all the air. Try to bring that breath from your stomach. Feel that breath really expand. Feel the whole body rise. Exhale. Feel it contract. Sink. Feel that relaxation. Relax your shoulders. And just bring the arms down to the sides, relaxing the shoulders. A lot of different Tai Chi movements. We're just going to go through a few of them, kind of get you familiar with it. So we're going to begin by doing an exercise just called Open the Door also known as rise and fall. We're just going to let the arms rise up in front of the body, taking a deep breath. Turn the palms out, lower the hands, relax the shoulders, and exhale. Keep the spine nice and straight. Maybe be able to get the sensation that you feel a little lighter as you rise up and you breathe more. And as you exhale and relax, you feel a little heavier and it's sinking. This time as we rise up, we're going to open the arms all the way out to the sides. Open our heart. Great big breath in. Bring the hands back and lower them the next. Look at it like the very, when you see something you haven't seen for a long time, it's like, hello. Relax. Breathe. This time, as you rise up, they do is called embrace the moon. So, we're going to breathe in. We're going to let this hand right here scoop underneath, and this hand is going to come on top like we're catching a ball right in front of us. And you exhale. You breathe in. And this hand scoops up. And exhale.
We're going to take a small step out to our right over in this direction. And we're going to extend the arms out. We're going to push down the next. We're going to bring the hands back in and up. We're going to breathe in. We're going to get our feet involved now. As we bring the hands back, lift up the front toes. As we push out, lift up the back heel. We're going to swing our hands over to the other side and bring that foot back. In. And again, we're going to step out, pushing out, raising up that heel, bringing the hands back, lifting up the toes. Good. This is called push pull. We do that one more time. And we're going to reach out with a big hug. We're just going to turn at the waist, back to the center, bring that leg back, lowering your hands. Reach out with a big hug, breathing in, let the hands just come down, fingers sliding up our pockets. Deep breath. And we're just going to let our arms relax to the sides. We're going to shift our weight, kind of leaning to one side, leaning to the other. Like a tree, just gently blowing in the breeze. Flexible, but strong. Bending, but not breaking. We come back to this side, we're going to lift this leg up. And tap the heel on the ground. And bring that foot back in. And do the other one. Now we're going to add in an arm. And breathe in. Breathe out. Now we're going to bring the other hand right by the elbow. This is called playing the feet. Breathe in, let the hands come down, foot come back. And next step. Now we're gonna let this hand right here scoop under. And this hand, like we're catching a ball. We're going to hide this top arm behind the back. And we're just going to toss this arm out like we're throwing a frisbee. We're going to breathe in, bring the hand back, scoop it in. And that's it. We're going to bring that hand out from behind the back. It's just going to press to the ground, just pushing down. Fingers come off the thighs. This is called part the horse's grip. We're going to rotate the hands, grabbing our ball. Part the horse's grip. And we're going to reach out. We're going to come to this other side. We're going to breathe in. We're going to play the peepaw. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. We do that one more time. Deep breath in. Breathing out. That top hand is going to scoop under again. We're going to catch our ball and brace the moon. And we're going to hide the moon behind the pockets. Tossing out like we're throwing a frisbee. Breathing in. Breathing out. Moon's going to come out from behind the clouds. And again, that palm just presses right to the ground, fingers coming off the thighs. Parting the horse's neck. One more time.
We're gonna come to the other side over here. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna play the pee paw again. The pee paw is like a big Chinese flute. Playing it again. Deep breath. And out. And again, we're going to circle the hands, coming under with this one on top, catching our ball. And we're just going to part the horse's mane all in one move. Circle the hands. Excellent. One more time, deep breath in. Breathe in. Gonna reach out, breathe in. Play the deep ball, breathe out. This hand right here, scoop up, catching the ball, and next time, hard to listen. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. We're going to reach out with a big hug. We're going to just turn at the waist, coming back to the center, bringing that leg in, lowering the knees. Let's reach out with that big hug. Breathing in. Breathing out. We're going to let the hands rise up in front of the body. Opening all the way out to the side, taking a deep breath in. Now bring the palms back towards each other like magnets falling together. We're going to flip the hands over. We're going to take this bottom hand right here. We're going to reach out. We're going to breathe in. Hand comes out to the side. We bring the palm right past the shoulder and we press through the center of the body and we exhale. Dropping the other hand, breathing in. Breathing out. Do that one more time. Now just swing the arms over the side. All right, we're gonna get fancy here. We're gonna let the arms descend. We're gonna raise up our heels, raising our knees up. We're gonna breathe in and down. Now we're just gonna move this hand right here like a bouncing ball. And this hand right here is going to wave back like a direct contract, raising those knees up. Exhale. Deep breath. And And we'll do both hands together, raising the knees up, breathing in, breathing out. Deep. We're going to step out with this leg. We're going to take this hand right here. We're going to brush the knee and we're going to press with the palm, turning with the legs. And next step. We're going to just turn back, bringing the knees back again, breathing in. Breathing out. And we're going to swing our arms over to the other side. We're going to bring that foot back in. Hands come above the head, draw a great big rainbow. Coming to the other side. Hands come down, arms go down, and knees come up. Breathing in and out. We're going to bounce that ball with this hand right here, raising the knees up. And we're going to wave back with this hand right here like a direct traffic again. And then we're going to do it both hands together. Breathing in and out. Now we're 
I step out of this line, we brush the knee, and we push. Right hand, turn at the waist, bring the arms back. Brush the knee and push. Swing the arms over to the other side, bring that leg back in. Arms above the head again, that great big rainbow. Now we're going to do both hands together and raising the knee. Going to step out to the side, brush the knee, then push. Turning at the waist, bring it. Bring your arms over to the other side, bring the leg back in. Great big rainbow, yeah, above the head. And both hands together. Stepping out to the side, we brush the knee and push. Breathing in, turn at the waist. Brush the knee and push it. Deep breath in. And again, we're going to reach out with that big hug. We're just going to turn back to the center, bring it over like that. Lowering the hands. Breathing in, deep breath. Exhale. Deep breath. That's fine, nice and tall. Arms rise up, and we're going to open up the sides. Deep breath in. This hand right here is going to come down and up to the opposite shoulder. This hand is going to come to the waist. We're going to turn to one side and breathe in. We always follow the top knot. We switch the hands, one hand rises and one hand falls. We come back the other direction as we go. Excellent. Switch the hands, breathing in, breathing in. We're going to take this top hand, we're going to reach out like we're picking a napkin up off the table. This is a hook, and we're going to extend this arm out. This is called single lift. We scoop under and we breathe in, extending the arm out and exhale. One more time. We're going to let go of the whip. It comes up to that opposite shoulder. This hand comes down. We go back to cloud pose, turning at the waist. Breathing in. We switch the hands. We breathe out. And again, that top hand is going to reach out. Like we're picking something up, making a hook. And we single whip out to the other side. Deep breath. And now, one more time. Let go of the hook, let it come up to the opposite shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. And we hook. And we're going to step out this time and extend the arm. Breathing in. Breathing out. This time we come back with a new move. This hand right here is going to come up over the top of the head, making a big circle in front of the body. Breathing in. And we breathe out. That's called snake creep step. Let's do that again. One more time. And again, we let go of the hook, let it come up to the opposite shoulder. We're going to bring our leg back in, turning it to waist, we breathe in. Alternate the hands, we breathe out. We're going to reach out with that hook again, stepping out and extending the arm. Breathing. Breathing out.
and comes up over the top, making a big circle in front of the body. Breathing in, breathe out. One more time. Gonna reach out, big hug, bring the leg back in, come back to the center. Again, breathing in, breathing out. Big hug, breathing in, breathing out. Arms rise up, open up to the sides again, breathing in. Gonna come back to cloud hands, this hand comes down and up to the opposite shoulder. Turning at the waist, you breathe in. Switch the hand, you come back the other direction, you breathe out. And again, we're gonna reach out, making the hook, stepping up. Exhale, breathe in. Down. Deep breath in, spine nice and tall. This hand comes up over the top. Down. And then we're going to come back and just bounce the ball. And Deep breath in. And or it could be a yogi, I suppose. Now we extend the arm up, up over the top. And we let go with the hook. It comes up to the opposite shoulder. We bring the leg back in, turning at the waist, breathing. Switch the hands, turn it the ways, breathe out. And we hook, we step out, and we sing over. Exhale. Deep breath. And out. One more time. We're going to come back and bounce that ball. And in. And out. And extend the arm, single lift. And then we come up over the top. We're gonna let go of that hook and reach out. Big hug, bring the leg back, turn it to the center, lowering the hands. Another big hug for the knee. And deep, deep breath. Hands rise up and they open out to the sides. Deep breath in. Again, we're going to catch that ball. So the hand, this one comes under, this one on top. And we're just going to Take a small step out. We're going to use the back of the arm and we're going to push. We're going to reach out. We're going to bring the hands back and breathe in. And we push it. One more time. All right, here comes the really fancy one. This hand comes under. Then we bring it above the head. We circle the hand. Bring our leg back in. So this way we can catch the ball and we can go to the other side. We step out. We exit. Bring the hands back, circling in, moving in, breathing out. There comes that fancy move. This hand comes under, come above the head, circle the hands. Catch the ball right in front of us. And then we step out. Scooping under with this hand, breathing in, breathing out. Now 
Ever do is called grasp the bird's tail. So let the hands come back. Take this palm right here and we press right in the crease of the wrist and the exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Then we have that really dancing move, that transition. Hand comes under, above the head, circle our hands, catch the ball in front of us, bring it away back. And we step out. Catch the ball again. Exhale. Here we go with the grasping bird's tail. We're going to breathe in and we press into the crease of the wrist. Breathe in, breathe out. Hand comes underneath, above the head. Circle the hands, catch that ball in front of our body. Breathe in. Down. And then press, grasp the sparrow's tail. Now we bring the arms back. We bring it and we're just going to open this hand up. This hand is going to scoop under, the leg is going to come back in, catch our ball, step out, step back in the arm, grasping the bird's tail, pressing in the crease of the wrist, hands come back to the chest, we go in and out. And again, open this hand up, scoop under with this hand, bring the foot back in. Step out and press with the back of the leg. Grasp the bird's tail, press in the wrist. And back to the chest, press out. Open up with this hand, let this hand scoop under. Bring that hand on top, step back in, step out, bring the arms back, grasp the bird's tail, and one more push pull. And we're just going to turn back to the side, lower our hands, reach out for the big hug, breathing in. And And we're going to reach all the way up, looking up to the sky, breathing in. Pull the rains down from the clouds. Lightning strikes the ground. Hands rise up as flames rise in the forest. And we reach out in front, bringing our hands back to our belly. Flames consuming all the timber. Breathe in. Hands coming down. Turning all the ashes to the earth. And we reach up, breathing in, breathing out. Watching the complete generating cycle of nature. Bring our hands into our chest, making a diamond, pressing that, extending out all of our well wishes to our heart, breathing in. And we breathe in. Feel the body expand. Exhale, feel it. Let the hands rise up as you breathe in. Reach out in front. Hands rise up. Exhale. And again, all the way up. And down. Hands coming to the center of the chest, making that time shift with the fingers again. And pressing out. One more time. 
deep breath. And out. Hands rising up, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in. And out. Take that out. Great big breath. In. Looking up. Hands come in. Exhale. Bring the hands into the chest. Press out. We're just going to finish up with a few hugs. Breathing in. Gathering up everything. And let's sink me deep inside. We'll bring one hand underneath the belly button, left hand on top, relaxing the shoulders. We're just going to return to focus now. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that seated routine. The right hand, the closed fist represents John. The open palm represents him. Thank you very much for participating.